Come on, come on, sell, 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 sell. Bonus week, where we're gonna be trading live every single day. I'm looking at this chart. That low that was broken would be the point of where you wait for the retest. Yes, so there I'm supposed to wait for the retest of 11500, retest of the EMA. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. In this video, we're gonna be talking about top three things I wish I would've learned when I started trading in about 2017, 2018, when I was an IML. I was an IML for like about a month or two. I feel like everybody gets caught in IML. And then I have something big. I got big news dropping at the end of the video. I get asked a lot, Alex, why don't you have a course? Why don't you have a mentorship? Obviously I have the learn learn where I go live every single day, send the signals, but I got something big different coming you guys know me I do something anything I do is different and I'm gonna be dropping something that has never ever seen before I did my research on a bunch of different uh, mentors and the people that are in the education space and I have something coming big so if you guys want to know what that is for swing trading lab and what I have coming make sure to watch the video all the way to the end and yeah this we're gonna talk about top three things I wish I would have learned honestly it took me a lot of failure and a lot of losses and now you know looking back a couple years back and i'm like damn if i would have known these things back then it would have saved me so much time and money and headache and i would have probably been to where i was faster now but i'll be explaining to you guys in the office let's get it all right so top three things i wish i would have known when i started trading and let me tell you there's only so much i could fit in this one video without it being you know excessive right because there's just so many things that go into trading but if i were to pick my top three things that stood out and i've noticed throughout the, my whole entire journey and to this day i am still fine tuning it and you know bettering myself as every single day goes i would definitely say number one would be time frame correlation right so what I realize about not only being a swing trader, but about traders in general is that a lot of people, you guys want to come into the charts and you guys just want to take a trade every single morning. You guys get on either buy or sell or do whatever the case is, right? You guys want to sit down in the charts, take a trade, make your money and then leave, right? And I feel like this is something that a lot of us as well as myself, I used to have, you know, I used to work at Dunkin' Donuts and, you know, I would go to my job, clock in, work, get paid and leave. You kind of can't have that same approach when it comes to trading because this isn't really a job. We need to treat this as a business, right? The markets are not going to pay you. I'm going to tell you right now, again, the markets are not going to pay you by sitting in front of the charts. The markets are only going to pay you based off of a trade that you take that is a high probability setup. So what does that mean? A high probability setup is a trade where you are going and you're trading with the markets. What does that mean? That doesn't mean just take a trade, whatever you see on the charts. Time frame correlation is something that is taken based off of every single time frame in sync. I personally only take a trade when I have every single time frame in sync, whether that be the monthly, weekly, daily, four hour, one hour, 30 minute, whatever the case is, right? It doesn't have to be all of those time frames, but I always have a minimum of three time frames in sync, whether it is the weekly, daily, and four hour. So what does that do? That's just almost common sense and it makes you feel so much better that you're going to take a buy let's say you have weekly daily four hour bullish why would you be looking for sales right i know a lot of you guys oh no i'm going to sell it into the support level so when it gets to the support level then i'll buy and the reality is you're not going to move the market you're not a market maker it's just not going to happen right right what you're doing there is you're going against the waves you're going against the current what you want to do is you want to wait for the market to get to that support level and then you enter the buy so you continue with the trend and what that does is it just puts all of the odds in your favor and it minimizes your risk right because you're simply trading with a wave you're just hopping on the next wave you're not going to create a trend you're not going to create a wave when it comes to the market it's like this it's not going to happen trust me i've tried so my biggest thing is waiting for those time frames to be in sync because you're honestly going to make your life so much easier. And then when you go to write down your confluences on the reasons on why you took the trade, you're going to notice that you have much more confluences because everything is in sync. You're just going with the flow. And then there you could obviously implement your whole set and forget when you let the trade run. But I know this requires a lot of patience. And that leads me to number two which is patience. Patience has honestly been a game changer when it comes to my trading. I know it's a turn off, a lot of you guys don't wanna wait, a lot of you guys want it now, but it just comes down to this simple fact. The market's gonna transfer the money from the inpatient to the patient. That's it, there's no going around it. And then you're gonna notice when you're patient, everything is gonna fall in line so much more smoother and when it's the right time for it to happen. Yes, we all wanna make those 100K days, 100K months, but like, let's say you make that money now, maybe you're not experienced or built enough, strong enough yet to control that type of money. I've known people that have made that money, they've gotten some nice account flips, and then they blow it off because they're not built yet. They don't have that experience with them to control that type of capital, right? So when it comes to patience, 
patience, just be patient, patient, patient. And when I mean patience, it's patience in every aspect in trading, right? Because some one, one of the main issues that I see a lot of people that I, you know, that I read through my DMs or even comments here on YouTube, it's like a lot of you guys are not patient when it comes to taking a trade, but you guys are patient to wait for the trade. Let's say you're in drawdown in a trade. You wait for the trade to come back to break even. Let's say you're in drawdown three, four, five hours, or whatever the case is. You'll wait for it to come back to break even, and then you close it. That absolutely makes no sense to me. If you just stuck around in that whole entire drawdown, continue holding the trade to either hit your take profit or you're either up a positive risk to reward. If you just waited in the red, why won't you want to wait in the green? So when it comes to trading, you need to have you need to be patient to execute, meaning taking a trade that makes sense, wait for all of those time frames to be in sync. Be patient. Let the trade either hit your stop loss and your take profit. You put your stop loss because if the market hits that point, now you are wrong, meaning that the trade is no longer valid, now you react and adapt. Let's say you're selling at a resistance level and then it breaks above that resistance level, means your stop loss has been hit. Cool, now you react and adapt, you wait for price to come back, retest, and then you continue the trade to the upside. So now, if trade, if, if price comes back up to create a double top or whatever the case is, and then it comes back down and rejects, and then now you're around your entry level, why would you close the trade? Now you need to be patient and let that trade ride to your take profit. And the beauty about patience is that it also falls in sync with time frame correlation. What do I mean by that? It's that you need to be patient to wait for all of these time frames to be in sync. That's why I personally myself have a very different trading style to everybody, and it sets me aside to a very specific trader. Why? Because every Everybody trades GJ, US 30 or gold, right? That's what the majority of people trade because they're fast moving pairs and they can give you great rewards. But I'm a more patient trader, which I get bigger trades, less stress, and I quote unquote get more risk to reward because I have greater swings and I let my trades right. So what I do is that I wait for these time frames to be in sync, right? Weekly, daily, four hours. So what does that mean? So let's say GJ right now, which is what the majority of the people trade. Let's say the weekly is bullish, daily is bearish, and then four hours consolidating. Why would you? even want to get involved with a pair like that. That's why I personally, myself, I put it to the side or at the bottom of my watch list and then I focus on other pairs, AUD, USD, UJ, GU, Euro, GBP, any other pair that looks clean and it makes sense. That's why I have a majority, let's say six, seven, eight pairs that I'm watching. That doesn't mean I'm actively trading for those pairs at those given point in times. I'm just waiting for all of those time frames to be in sync. While those scalpers are like struggling in the consolidation, waiting for it to have a breakout, I'm trading another pair that's trending beautifully. Yes, let's say it's only a couple hundred pips, but let's say I have a 20 pip stop loss, 100 pip, you know, take profit, super positive risk to reward. While the scalpers are getting frustrated, I'm over here trading a beautiful pair that has beautiful market structure. So that's why you have to be patient when it comes to the market correlation. That's why both of these fall in sync beautifully because they need to be together. When it comes to trading, it's almost like a gearbox. You can't have a gearbox with you know only one gearbox working and then let's say these teeth are a little bit grinded out. All of these things need to be synced in perfectly for your trading to be profitable. So once I realized that time frame correlation is crucial when it comes to trading because you only take high probability setups and I realized that patience pays a mentorship is something that is going to expedite your trading career and just your journey as a whole. It's going to help you cross these hurdles. You're gonna cross these hurdles with or without a mentorship. This is just me keeping it 100% honest with you guys. Now I'm always honest, but what this is gonna do is that when you're falling and you're struggling to get back up, you're gonna have the community and you're gonna have people to help you get up that have been through your experience and help you go through it and then move on to your next hurdle. I know there's hundreds of YouTube videos out there. I personally myself was uh, one of those people searching through YouTube, seeing as much content as I could get. Anybody that was out there on YouTube that had anything trading related, I was watching it, adding it to my charts, and then when I realized I was a scalper, day trader, swing trader, all in one. I had so many things in my charts that I couldn't even see price action, right? That's why my charts now are beautiful. I probably have one of the cleanest charts I see out there. Anybody can go onto that chart and they can just notice how it is bullish, they can notice that it's bearish, they can notice how we are selling at a resistance or buying a support. I take off all of the stuff that make a lot of noise and I just focus on what matters and that's price action. So that's why I decided I'm going to be coming out with my own mentorship. Not no regular mentorship. I know there's a lot of stuff out there. I'm going to be coming out with a four to five week one-on-one -on -one boot camp. Never ever seen before. I've never seen anybody do this. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking you guys from a dependent trader to an independent pro. And this is going to be maybe a group of 10 to 12 people. So it's going to be a very small group of people. So I could be able to work with you guys on a one-on-one -on -one level. So it's going to be about 
four to five weeks and I'm gonna host anywhere from three to four classes every single week. And on top of that, there's gonna be a bonus week where we're gonna be trading live every single day. In order to join that, make sure to click the link in the description below. That's gonna be the waiting list, launch date very, very soon. It's gonna be sent out in the email, so if you guys wanna join, again, link in the description below. Now we'll be doing, uh, discuss all the details there. So I hope you guys enjoyed everything throughout this whole entire video. Hope you guys have a great rest trading of your week. Make sure time frame correlation, patience pays, and find the right mentor. So I hope you guys have a great trading week, and I'll see you guys in the next video.